Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to be doing my January 2017 tea, uh, <laughs> take two, my January 2017 wrap up, my first of the year, da -da. okay I need, I need some like cool like music for my intro there, but anyway, uh, if I ever learn how to do that, <laughs> wait, I read eight books, read and finished eight books uh, last month because me have a lot of free time um, the first two are rereads uh, which is City of Fallen Angels and City of Lost Souls both by Cassandra Clare books 4 and 5 in her Marvel Instrument series and I gave City of Fallen Angels 4.5 stars and I gave City of Lost Souls 5 stars City Fall Angels got off a point, half a point, because of Jace's lack of communication with Clary. I had knock off a little bit for that. Um, my third read. Oh, also let me know if I need to talk about this more. I feel like if I talk about the books more, then I'll turn into like book reviews. So I'm like, I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. So it's just you know, I. Yet again, if there's anything I can do to prove. My wrap ups or change or you know mix it up. Leave it in the comments and I will read them and reply to them if it, you know is needed. Uh, the third book I uh, read was Truth uh, Truth Witch by Susan uh, Dinnard, which I started a uh, handful of months ago. And I finished last month. I didn't get into that book until God, I'm gonna say 100 some pages, maybe closer to 200 before I like actually got into it. But first, I was going. Uh, I gave that four stars, even though there's something that annoyed me about like Sophie and Assault's relations kind of remind me too much of like Rose and Lissa from Vampire Academy, where it's like. They're close, but they're like almost too close, like toxic level, like not healthy close. <laughs> and also the Thread Sister or Thread Brother thing kind of reminds me of Parapetize from Mortal Instruments. I know it's not the first time they've probably had pairs like that. I know it's probably been books long before that, but in my experience it sounds similar. Um... And I don't think they have to keep telling what each witch does. Like, once we learn what that kind of witch does, we don't need it explained every time. Um, I'm going to be reading uh, Wind Witch. Like, I actually started Wind Witch. I'm still on Chapter 1, so I just started it, like, today, so. I enjoyed it overall. I mean, there's just, like, a couple little things where I'm like, you know, they could, you know, that annoy me. But overall, it was a, a good book. Uh, fourth book I read was A List of Cages by um, Robin Rowe. I enjoy this overall except for, um, God, I don't want to give away spoilers though. Um, there are just certain parts of it I think could have been done differently. Um, so I'm not sure to give it three and a half or four stars. I'm kind of like, most of it was four stars, but there was parts of it where I go, mm, three, three and a half stars, not sure. I don't want to say for those, because this is a relatively new book, so I don't want to, like, spoil it for anybody. Um, what parts I would change personally for that book. Um, <laughs> book five. You'll see why I'm laughing in a moment. Um, was A Court of Mist and Fury, the most popular book on Booktube of 2016. I read the first one when it, you know, soon after it came out. Didn't like it. Um, I don't like Throne of Glass either, but, or, I've read Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, and, like, half of Air of Fire. I'm done with that series. Like, pfft, done. I just don't like her storytelling. I just don't. <laughs> I'm going to do a whole video on my thoughts on Co uh, Court of Mist and Fury, because I only gave it two stars. Yeah, that's right. Two effing stars. I have good reasons for it. I'm not just being petty because, oh, it's popular, so I don't like it. No, that's not it at all. It's just... 
I've heard that you, it's like a good t good thing to like not just do book talks or reviews on books you love, but also do ones that you don't to make yourself more balanced. I guess I've heard that. So I'm not that I'm going to do negative reviews like all the time. Like just maybe like once in a great while, just to you know get it off my shoulders. You know. Anyway, book six is another one where I wasn't too impressed with it, and it's popular, and it has book awards and all that, but that just means the people who read it that, and were the people who give out the awards go, oh, we love this, to each their own, but um, it was Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe, if I, yeah, see the library books, you gotta turn them back when, <laughs> when you're done. Um, I only give that two and a half stars. And I'm going to tell you why without spoiling it too much. Um, it's a contemporary, so you can't, like, spoil too much. But, um, everybody's like, I've said this before in other books. It's so sweet. It's, so ro it's a sweet romance between two boys, which I have no problem with. Love is love. But <laughs> they literally didn't get together until the end of the book. Like, the end of the book. Um, Aristotle is an ass. Beep, beep, beep. Literally, I don't know why anybody would want to be friends with him, let alone date him. I, I Dante was too mellow, too nice for his own good. He's one of those doormat characters, you know, like, well, you know, you're relatively nice to me sometimes, kind of, sort of. And the family thing is like, yeah, their parents were involved, but Aristotle didn't like anybody. He was mad all the time. For no really good reason, <laughs> in my opinion, it's like, and then, there's something that, with mm, Dante, for most of the book, Ari and Dante is like, mm hmm I'm not going to say because spoilers, but if you want to know what it is, you can ask me and I'll tell you privately. Um, so, um, this is probably why I write my own stories, because I can't F my, piss myself off. I can write it in which way I want. Um, anyway, uh, enough of my ranting, ra rambling, and other such things. Book seven is another book I started a few months ago, and I, I just, I'm deciding to, like, try to finish up books I'm in the middle of, or trilogies I'm almost finished with, or series I'm almost finished with. If I'm interested in the plot enough, I'll, I'll, I'll you know, work my way through. And uh, was, and that read was Gathering Darkness by Morgan Rhodes, which is book three, and her uh, Fallen Kingdom series, which I gave three stars. Barely. Um, I was really interested. In, the characters were really good. I thought in the first book, and then like, it it soon turned into Game of Thrones real quick in that book. And, like, real quick. It's like. It's exactly the same, except for, like, no naughty times. That's, like, it. The only difference, really. Um. But, it's just, like, the characters are just getting, like, more devious and more manipulative and blah, blah, blah. Even the ones that started off nice to begin with are all about themselves. And it's like, really? But I'm, I'm continuing to read because I just want to see if the evil villain gets conquered in the end. Um, so there's that. <laughs> and the, my last book is one um, that I kind of started like a couple chapters so I wasn't that far into it. and So I read the majority of it in January, like almost all of it. And that was Mirror King by Jody Meadows, which is the second book in... I don't know what the name of the duology is. The first one was The Orphan Queen, and the second one is The Mirror King. I gave that three stars because there's unnecessary deaths. Um, it's kind of repetitive in places. Um, there's some couple things that happened at the end that made me cry. I'm like, I don't like crying when I read my, I read my books to be happy and escape stuff that makes me sad. So I was like... Um, so those are all the books I read or finished in January. Um, 
Let me know if you've read any of these. If you want to talk about any of said books, leave it down in the comments. And any suggestions, helpful hints, or anything. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> Almost forgot. I got uh, two Funkos after Christmas. I got them myself. So I'm going to uh, show you that, guys, those just a Okay, I got Edward in his Twilight outfit from the first movie. And I don't know if you can see it, but he sparkles. This is the Hot Topic exclusive. He sparkles. Even his hands and his face. That is so cute. And I got Jacob. Because I didn't get him. I just. If you see my Christmas haul, you saw that I didn't get Jacob for Christmas, so. Here's Jacob. Look at him, he's so cute. So, those are my two latest. Now I have five Funkos now. And I said I wasn't going to buy any. That one lasted, didn't it? Oh, so that is my wrap up for the month. Um, thank you for watching. Um, welcome all the new subscribers. Welcome any new viewers. Um, and that's it for I need a new outro. I don't know what to do though. Um peace.